Tyler Quali. Um, he got this war brewing with the ADOS community, and the thing is about Tyler Quali is that a lot of people don't understand what a snake he is. But if you go and watch this video online of the brother Darren Seal, rest in peace. He talked about in the video how Tyler Kwali was went to Missouri and he was supposed to collecting all of this money. And he supposed to been bailing out the brothers who was being arrested as they was fighting on the ground for the death of Michael Brown. He said, Yo, Tyler got the money and dip. Got the money and dip. So none of the people was getting bailed out. None of the um, money went to the Michael Brown family. Same thing with the people that was running Black Lives Matter. Now the Black Lives Matter girl come out today and she says, I'm tired of being known as the Black Lives Matter girl. I want to be known as a writer and an artist. And they were like, you made your whole career off of the death of black men. Like someone who is really down for a cause, they don't put it down. They don't start saying trying to this is themselves from it because that's who, what they're about. You do when you get the bag. Yeah, you do when you get the bag. And this is how they even played us with this nonsense. But w- with Talib, Talib, you now, they're going on Boyce Watkins, Boyce Watkins' show. And he telling him how he going to destroy the ADOS move. And what we have here is the reason why we as black people can never come together on anything because people are so full of ego people have their own motives and they willing to destroy the collective while focusing on individual success now Tyler Kweli the reason why he angry at ADOS it has nothing to do with a with um reparations at all he angry with them because the ADOS people start going after Kamala Harris and his brother works for Kamala Harris so he feels that the black people who are saying no tangibles no vote he well he knows she ain't finna come out for a reparation you see her stuttering and falling all over herself when uh, Don Lemon asked her the other night. So she ain't going to come out. So for him, he has to, he feel he have to destroy the ADOS movement before it spreads to other African Americans. Because if it spread to other African Americans, they hear the data, they hear the numbers, maybe African Americans are going to start doing the same thing. But what I would like for these folks to understand is that y'all cast an anti-MLK and anti-Martin Luther King Jr. for all y'all folks who are doing this. And it, stop it. And the reason being is that um, that's what MLK was doing during the Civil Rights Movement. They were leveraging their vote against the Democratic Party to get them to do the Civil Rights Movement, the Civil Rights Act. It's speeches after speeches that Malcolm X gave where he talked about black people not voting. Not voting. How white people, you got white people on the right and white people on the left, and they fighting it out between each other to see who less races. And black people, we are the deciding factor. So that we are the deciding factor, that that means we have power. And we have power to leverage against the Democratic Party to get things done for our community. Now these cats out here are attacking people. Now, and I want you to, all you guys out there who are listening, to understand something about Talib Kweli. We had so many other brothers, prominent brothers, out there who were part of the new black media, Tariq Nasheed, Black Authority, Professor Black. All of these dudes have been doing the same thing. And you know what? Talib never went after either one of them. Hell, he ain't even went after Tone Talks like that. But he going after Yvette. And you know what? Yvette have never, ever told people not to vote. She ain't never told people not to vote. She always about voting, telling people that that's what she do is vote. She always talk about voting, but he's choosing to go after her. And you know why? 
See, when you want to destroy something, you attach a leader to it. So he have attached um, Yvette Cardinal as the leader of the movement. So whatever shit that he can pull up with her, he can use it against her. But she have always said, and other people have always said, is that the ADOS movement is leaderless. You don't follow a leader. And I told you before, the reason why you don't follow a leader is because a leader can be bought off or a leader can be assassinated. But an ideology cannot. And what the ADOS movement is moving off of is an ideology. That ideology is your lineage, ADOS, American Descendant for Slaves. But you seeing these people come out and do this type of stuff. And then the little gypsy girl. I don't know if y'all seen that little ugly gypsy chick that look little cretin. Now she's over there with the Nation of Islam is giving this white chick a column to speak on on their paper dissing A.D. West. And it's like, listen, man, this girl is some all live matter chick who was boosting up the police and y'all giving her a platform. Boris Watkins is out here with this foolishness talking about I'm all for reparations, but I got a problem with the leadership. Man, get out your fucking feelings, man. This is a problem with y'all. Y'all think y'all have to like everybody to work with them. This ain't about your, your ego. About your whack ass self-esteem or any of that. This is about black people. But y'all sitting out here acting like y'all got to like everybody. You think I agree with everything that Tone Talk says? That I agree with everything that the sister Yvette Cornell says? No. But what they agenda is, it in lines with my agenda. And that is black empowerment. Here in the United States amongst African Americans. And we can't get to this if y'all gonna be sitting around here doing all this bickering over nonsense now Talib then took a video of Yvette Cardinal playing around with a mega hat and start posting memes and shit talking about look she mega see this is how retarded these people are out here man see if you're a person that thinks for yourself on the issue of immigration or you challenge the Democrats and you don't tore the party line. People say that you're a Trump supporter. Well, you're a Trump supporter. So you did Malcolm X, when Malcolm X was hammering Lyndon Johnson and when he said, of course, Lyndon Johnson looked good when you put him next to Barry Goldwater. Of course he looked good. So you telling me because Malcolm X said that he was supporting Goldwater? No, he wasn't. He's telling you that both sides ain't hitting on shit, but his people is in bed with one of the political parties. You never worry about Republicans because you ain't in the bed with Republicans. You in the bed with the Democrats. Your people been voting for the Democratic party for the last 50 years and have made zero economic gain in 50 years and what Talib is telling you is that's perfectly fine because he practicing individualism this ain't about black people he don't give a fuck about black people and what's going on with black people that we have people in Alabama living in third world conditionings dying from hookworm the mortality rate amongst black women is terrible down on to Mexico level. None of that. We still got people in Michigan drinking lead water. Gun violence through the roof in Chicago. He don't give a damn about all that. The only thing he cares about is Kamala Harris winning. And he's choosing to try to destroy the ADOS movement 
for this reason. Just for Kamala Harris to win. And so it ain't even about Kamala Harris. It's about his brother getting a job in the White House. Man, how foolish is this? Boris Watkins' whole thing is, is his little fat tubby tubby ass is in his feelings. He's in his feelings. Because Yvette Carnell went at it two, three years ago. Like she used to work over there with him. Now he in his feelings. You're a grown ass man, Boris Watkins. Get out your feelings, partner. This ain't about you. This is about our people, man. And y'all clowns out here in y'all feelings. Feeling like you gotta like somebody to work with them. I mean, everybody who watching this, you have somebody on your job that you cannot stand, but you work with them. Damn near everybody who listening to this, who you don't like your boss. Damn near nobody like they boss. But you work with them. You don't have to agree with everything everybody say, man. To appreciate the things that they are fighting for. All in Cobra. They are here, well, AD West, man. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't start this. We've been talking about reparations. Who gives a damn? You had 40 years and then gained no traction, bruh. No traction. Now in Cobra and the AD West people should be working together to achieve reparations. But let's not act like you had any presidential candidate, any senator, any congressman, any mayor, any governor talking about the issues of reparation because you didn't. So don't sit up here and act like you did. But people are in their feelings, man. And it's like, this dude running around here like um Bishop, Bishop Talib Swan, if y'all know him, know him on Twitter, follow that brother. That's a good brother. Him brought him in. Talking about, yeah, I'm going to call him up. I'm going to call up Tariq Nasheed. I'm going to call up this person and try to get them to destroy A.D. West because she mega. Man, sit your dumb ass down, Talib. Sit your dumb ass down, man. And see, I'm not even going to trash you because we got stuff on you that I could say. I could put stuff out there that other people been putting out there about you. I'm not even going to put that out. But what you doing is on some bull jive, man. I, like, this dude, is, and then I was watching Charlemagne. And Charlemagne, he comes out talking about, yeah, um, the ADOS movie have been co-opted. Co-opted? So you ain't got that phone call from Talib, huh? You ain't got that phone call? You one of the people that he calling? I know Boris Watkins call you because he told, called you about the Albert Wilson case. That's why you start talking about that. But I say, man, what you seeing, A. D. West, I done said this before. In the 1960s, when we just fought for civil rights, the thing that we did, what that did was it left us as black people depending on white money. And that's why you see the NAACP, cats like Mark Thompson, when... White people are the one who cutting your check. You can't fight white supremacy as hard the way you want to. This is like Terry Crews when the dude grabbed him by a testicle and he tell you he worrying about his job. This is what happened when you depended on white money. When you depended on it. And these cats up here now trying to kill a movement. And a lot of people... Of ADUS is saying, hey man, we shouldn't talk about these folks. We just giving them energy. And I'm saying, no, you have to talk about these folks because these folks are sitting around with white money. They going to white money to destroy ADUS. They over there 
talking to Media Matters. Media Matters do a hit piece on ADOS. Then the Daily Coast, they do a hit piece on ADOS. See, that's what Mark Thompson and Talib is doing to try to destroy the movement. They trying to destroy it in twofold. They want to destroy it so it doesn't get to black people, more black people than it already have. And they're trying to destroy it so it don't get to white liberals, white progressives like Bernie Sanders supporters. That's what they're trying to do. Because if it gets to them, then politics really have a problem. But I told y'all a couple of shows ago that the AUS movement would start exposing some of the people who you thought was family. I told you that. They're going to start exposing a lot of people who you think is family. And that's why I was like, yo, here, he, he said he's going to call Tariq Nasheed. And then I was listening to the homie Tariq Nasheed show the other day, and it let me know he have called Tariq because of the stuff that Tariq was saying. He's like, yo, these people out here trying to divide it. The ADOS, hollering all this stupid stuff about leaders and all of this. He said, no, ADOS and leaderless. We don't follow no leader. You either part of this lineage or you not. That's what this is about. This is about reparation for the limit for the lineage of American descendants of slaves. That's what this is about. We have no leaders. We have founders. It's people out there who've been giving great information like Yvette Carnell. Thank her, thank Tone Talks, thank Sandy Doherty. But we have no leaders. But y'all cats gotta chill out, man. With this foolishness. All of this ego. And one I wanted to do, he left for comment talking about in our things. I'm like, man, Yvette Carnell got an ego too. She got an ego. Tone got an ego. Yeah, we do. Yeah, they do. We ain't seen it. You you think I don't see the ego of Yvette Carnell and Tone? Not so much Yvette, but Tone. But Cass is in they feeling. He's like, whoa, she he she said something about Claude Anderson. So, so, and what? Just because Claude Anderson is not your boyfriend, homeboy. That's not your man. It's not your man. People can be critiqued. People can be criticized. And still work together. Yeah, I've seen her say stuff about Claude Anderson in a negative, and i also seen her say stuff positive about Claude Anderson. What people are trying to do is take information and use it the best way forward. But now everybody is a bunch of Russell Westbrooks riding this bitch. Everybody is in their feelings about every little thing. Y'all act like y'all want to date these people. You ain't dating Yvette Carnell. You ain't dating Tone Talks. This is about reparations. Y'all sitting around here in y'all feelings about dumb stuff. But when you see Yvette Cornell talk about uh, Claude Anderson, she didn't say nothing about him in a way of her being in her feelings. She was talking about an ideology that she was talking about need to be strengthened. And not in her feelings, but y'all cats want to be liked too much, man. Want to be liked. I can't work with this person. I can't work with that person. But y'all same clowns that have been one of the ones running out here voting for centuries Democrats. Every election cycle, do you agree with them on everything? No, you don't, but you still voting for them. You suckers. You don't agree with them on everything, but you still vote for them. But now, because you disagree with Yvette Cornell or Tone on something, it's, oh, man, I can't work with them. Not that the leaders of the AD West, they need to be replaced. What? Y'all on some sucker shit. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Hit the donation button if you can.